let's take a look at how rearming and repairing works in Hyperleaf. For this demonstration, I have a Cormoran that suffered some battle damage and it expended some items. Let's start with the expendable items first. Expendable items are tactical and cruise missiles, air defense missiles, and anti-ship missiles. If you shoot them, they are like missing parts on the ship, they, are, they got expended. So to replace them, you can click on repair. And then you drag this bar over here. And for them to be repaired, they have to either exist in the inventory or be available on the shipyard for purchase. As you can see here, if I drag it back, see those missiles over here? They will appear as I'm dragging it up, and you see they disappear from inventory because I had the spare parts in here. And if they don't exist here, one thing you can do is you could, for example, take it from another ship, strip them off another ship, so put them in inventory, and then cannibalize them like that to put it in another place. Now, if you like to repair the ship, there are two different things to repair. You repair damaged components, or you replace components that got completely destroyed and detached from the ship. Now, to repair items that just suffered some damage, you look at things that are flashing yellow, orange, or red. They're like, uh, this fire suppression system, it's heavily damaged. Right-click, right-click. Then it gets added to the repair queue. Again, alternatively, you can also just repair all of this. However, if you are short on time and you want to prioritize which items you want to repair first, then the better method is to right-click on things that you need. Now, if you have modifications on your ship, or you like to modify a ship and repair it, then it gets a bit more complicated. Let's say I want to add an extra gun to my ship. Going over here to hull parts. Okay, now that blue flashing icon means it's an installation job. Okay, now if I press repair all, because I also want to repair the ship and modify it. And notice what happens, the gun disappears. Because repair uh, button, it doesn't just repair ship, it repairs it to a specific blueprint. And if that blueprint wasn't saved with that new gun in it, it's going to get removed. So how can we change that? Okay, now we modify the ship. First we're going to remove it again. We're going to add a repair job. But it's important to do it in this order, so you can't so you can get the repairs and the modifications together. I'm going to put it back again. Now you have to click the exit button over here. It doesn't work if you press escape and go out of the screen. You have to press exit. Because now the game asks you if you want to save all the old blueprint or save a new one. I'm pressing 2, save a new one. Now it's saving a new blueprint. Now we go back to shipbox. Now if I want to repair the ship, I can select over here. See the new repair uh, plan? It has the new gun on it. Click and repair. Oh. Another thing you can do is you can change the description over here. Type in a new name and the classification if you want to have something more descriptive. However, change your name in here will not create a new blueprint. You have to do it by exit. That's just the label for the current blueprint. And to make it a bit more complicated, any blueprint you save like this appears to be attached to this particular save game. So if you go back into the ship editor outside of the campaign, it is not going to show the new blueprint. So, and that is how we repair ships in high fleets. And this should conclude the guide, and as always, thanks for watching. <laughs>